Hey, what's up guys, this is Marcos. Today we're gonna to take a look at how to use dual monitors using Final Cut Pro X. Now what's nice about having dual monitors is that you can get through your edit much faster. You're able to open different windows in Final Cut Pro X like you see back here. And I've found that I can drag in my footage, music, sound effects, all that stuff into my timeline. And I'm just able to take advantage of more real estate. So um, I assume you already have dual monitors and you know how to set them up. I'm just gonna tell you the simple steps of activating the dual monitors. So without further ado, let's get into it. This is what my Final Cut Pro X windows look like when they're all opened and I'm trying to pull in video and audio and all these kinds of stuff into my timeline. And it gets pretty cluttered. So I like to close down my media browser. I'm having to constantly hit Control Command 1 to close it. That way I can see more of my timeline and the video I'm working with. Uh, but also the scopes, because if I were to leave this open, it just, it's too much for me. So this is why it's nice to have a second monitor. So this is what you want to do. You want to go up to window, go to show in secondary display and select browser. And this is what it looks like when you have two monitors. Now you have your media browser over here. Now I'm having to show you on the camera because I can't screen record these two at the same time. Uh, the other thing you can do is, uh, but which I don't prefer, is to go to window. You can also show your viewers, as you can see there, but I don't like to do that. This second monitor is not calibrated. This iMac Pro, I'm trusting that it, the colors are pretty accurate. So before you use uh, your screen or a second monitor, make sure you calibrate it because I've made the mistake of color grading on screens that are not color calibrated. And then my whole color grade is way off. So the other thing is uh, show in secondary display. You can say timeline, which I don't like to do that. My favorite is um, browser. It just makes it easier. I can pull my video footage from the, the, here or go to the media and pull in music, sound effects, all that kind of stuff, or generators and, and different titles I can just pull in without having to have it on my main timeline. All right guys, hopefully you found this useful. Now I made this video because recently I ran a poll on YouTube and I asked you guys what you wanted to see for future tutorials and the majority of you asked for Final Cut Pro X tutorials. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make more little small tutorials, uh, little maybe hidden gems that you didn't know existed in Final Cut Pro X. And if you find them useful, please let me know, drop a like. Also, if you have any questions related to Final Cut Pro X, I'll be happy to take a crack at it and hopefully I can help you out. All right, guys, that's it for today's video. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, subscribe if you haven't already done so, and I'll catch you on the next one.